The New York Jets have added three players that will help the three phases of their football team. Keelan Cole at wide receiver, LaMarcus Joyner at free safety, and Justin Hardy on their special teams. Let's start off with Keelan Cole. Keelan Cole's somebody, one-year contract, five and a half million dollars, I thought had way more upside than we've really ever seen. He showed real flashes a couple years ago with the Jacksonville Jags and has shown those flashes kind of season in and season out here and there, up and down with Jacksonville. He's never really been given the true opportunity to be like a number two wide receiver, to be on the field on a consistent basis. But I really like his skill set. I think he's a smaller guy in stature, pretty good speed, pretty good route running, just a nice, well-rounded wide receiver that makes plays and has versatility, can line up outside, can line up inside and make plays. I've seen him make incredible catches down the field, make people miss underneath. I just liked Keelan Cole in general. I think the strength of this game is probably his route running and getting in between cuts, you know, fairly quickly in that regard. You know, that's probably his strength is just his quick feet. But I think he's a good player, been underrated for Jacksonville, and it's never a bad idea to take a chance on a Jacksonville Jags wide receiver, considering their quarterback play over the last decade plus has been pretty bad. So a lot of times you're going to get a player that's probably better than what they showed in Jacksonville. But Keelan Colt does have upside as probably for the Jets, their number three, number four wide receiver. And just another body that will compete for a roster position on this team. I like what the Jets are doing with their receiving core. You know, adding more and more bodies, more and more players. They added Corey Davis. They're looking to maybe add Juju Smith-Schuster, right? Denzel Mims from the draft last year. Jamison Crowder, who's actually probably one of the more underrated receivers in the league. So they've got four or five guys that I would consider, you know, twos and threes that have some upside and that will be good for whoever the quarterback is in 2021. And they've got a plethora of options to throw the football to. Keelan Cole is just another option for them to get that football to. Then you flip to the defensive side of the football. LaMarcus Joyner is, I think, going to be one of the most and biggest value signings of this offseason. Lamarcus Joyner was signed by the Raiders like three years ago, I want to say, two years ago maybe, to be a free safety slash nickel corner. And what he ended up being, he was paid a lot of money because he was coming off a great year with the Rams. And he should have been paid that much money. He was awesome at that time. He then plays out of position with the Raiders. So he plays a lot of nickel corner, which he was never as good at as he was as a free safety. Okay, so understand that. He plays a lot of nickel corner. The Jets are signing and bringing him in as the Seattle scheme free safety. Okay, so this is a Robert Sala defense. He's looking for that rangy free safety. Marcus Joyner is undersized, but what he is is he's very quick and fast and can get sideline to sideline in a hurry. He's not going to be a guy that lays the wood. He's not going to be a thumper, right? He's going to be a guy that just good recognition of an offense, sees things, reacts to it, makes plays that way. And he's always been better in zone than in man. That's kind of why he struggled at nickel because he's kind of under out of position. He's small. When he's close to the line of scrimmage, he gets swallowed up in the run game. It's just not a good look. So as long as they keep him at free safety and as long as they play him in that Jimmy Ward role, which is kind of, you know, what Sala did with Jimmy Ward in San Francisco, then I think LaMarcus Joyner will be a perfect fit for this defense and actually way outperform this contract, which is only one year, four and a half million dollars. So I do like the risk. I think he fits the scheme well, and I think he's a much better player than what he showed with the Raiders. So this is the type of signing that I really like. Because clearly, the Jets have a vision of this player that they know what the Raiders didn't know, and they know where to play this player and how to get the best out of him. Those are always the best signings, okay? The final signing is Justin Hardy, special teams ace 
one of the best gunners in the NFL coming from the New Orleans Saints, where they were one of the best special teams. They've been one of the best special teams, especially when he's been there. He's a converted wide receiver to corner in the NFL and primarily, again, plays on special teams. But he's one of the heart and soul players of the Saints in the past and is going to bring, you know, that fire, that energy, and that, I already saw his press conference, you know, he was saying that he's all about the heart. So I like that. I like that energy coming to the locker room. You know, maybe he can be sort of a Matthew Slater-esque type of presence for the New York Jets in that locker room on that special teams. People forget, you know, it's not just offense, it's not just defense, but also special teams is involved as a third of the game of football. So there you go, the three parts of football covered by the New York Jets with some more very nice signings for their football team.